All right, so this is a little Sarama that was born on September 19, 2012, and I have two of these. This one's a little bit smaller than the other one, and I just wanted to show you what he looks like. And that's his coloring of his feathers. Very pretty. And he's still growing out his tail, of course. His feet. Very sweet little guy, so I hatched him out myself. He's also for sale. Turn around. Turn around, little boy. So we can see ya. Alright, so this is um, little Sarama number two, born September 19, 2012. And his tail is beginning to grow out the points. And this is what he looks like up close. His face. Come here. I've handled these guys since they were little. Let's see your little feet. They've been digging in the ground, so there's going to be some dirty marks. And there's his face. Very pretty little face. He's all strong and pretty. I'm trying to get him to move around, but he's too calm. Come on, move around. Come on, move around like your brothers do. There we go. We want to see your back end. Okay, so this is Sarama number three, and he looks just like his brother, and that's his feathers, and his tails are just coming in, and his face, and his feet, sorry, I can't catch that very well, he's beautiful, I have two of these, are like twins, he's a little bit taller, and the other one's a little bit shorter. And he's for sale. Okay, this is Sarama number four. He's beautiful. He wants to get out. Now with him, um, his tail sometimes goes over to the left of him. As you could probably see in the video. He's very pretty. Nice yellow feet. Nice face. And he's never been in a small cage like this, so he's wanting to get out. Look at this beautiful tail. And he's also for sale. No, no, you don't need to get out. We're trying to do little videos of you. And he's for sale. Just wanted to mention, this is the coffee cup size in my hand. Um, I guess they call these a small, you know, if you go to like Starbucks or something, so it gives you an idea. Okay, so I forgot what number this little guy is, so I'm going to have to put a little bubble with what number he is, but um, he's kind of like a twin of the one you just saw with the tail that was slightly to the side. His little feathers are coming in also, but he does not have the dark on his head area right here. See his pretty feathers and his pretty feet and his nice clean face and his tail. Very pretty little rooster. He actually got in a fight so he's looking better now. He was terrible. His face was completely um, swollen. I'll have to do um, the next video with his little brother he got in a fight with which he may or may not be for sale, which will be a silk black Sarama. Alright, so this is Oreo. This is the one he got in a fight with. He may or may not be for sale. I'm, I'm going to keep him last um, because I'm thinking about keeping him. He's a silk Sarama. These guys take a little longer for their feathers to come out and show a little bit better. This is the little baby chick um, in the videos when I first hatched him out that tried to hunt my finger. <laughs> So um, he's one of my favorites. His name is Oreo, and he's got a gorgeous tail, 
and um, when he walks around he prances his little legs down or his wings down he's got yellow feet of course and um, he's really pretty I like this barring he has in his chest so this little guy for now is not for sale but um, if for any reason he's for sale I will put up a bubble that says for sale on there um, if there's no bubble that means I'm still thinking about it but um, we'll see he's a silk Sarama and he was born September 19th 2012 okay so this Sarama his name is Charlie and the reason why is because I could not tell what sex this little guy was for the longest time it was the only one and came out a little rooster and Charlie was actually born on September 30th 2012 which is my birthday so that's why um, I named him Charlie plus he was born on my birthday and I really like him he's really small um, he will have either the word pending or for sale on this video um, if there's no bubble that means that there's nothing no activity on his um, sale it's, it's pending but if it says for sale in a bubble then he is available and if it says sold you'll know that he is not available he's a very nice little Sarama sorry I should have came in a little bit closer he wants to get out of he's got a nice tail very very nice and um sorry he's just one wanting to get out this is what he looks like okay so for this Sarama here um I should have probably put him in the beginning as well but um, he is kind of like a twin to the first one, I think it is. I'm not sure. No, not the first one. Probably the second one. He is a little bit shorter. Um, not meaning in um, legs. I mean, like, he's shorter than the other red one that I have. Um, same thing for him. He is kind of pending. Not sure. He wants to get out. But um, he is very pretty. He's got a little bit different feathers right around the base there. They're kind of barred in the way. And uh, he's a very pretty bird. And I hate when they do this. Some of them have this weird habit of doing that in this cage because they're not used to being in this cage. But this little guy possibly will be for sale. And again, I'll put a bubble on their status. He's got a nice face. Let's open up this door and try this. No, 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 no. don't try to get out. No, no, no. Okay, that doesn't work. Well. Alright. Alright, as you guys know, this is Blake. He's my favorite. He is the one that I hatched out with Tina. And they're my very first Saramas that I hatched out. He's the father of some of these chicks that you guys are looking at right now. He's also for sale, but he is very special to me, so whoever takes him or buys him, um, he needs the best home possible. He's really sweet. I really love him a lot. He loves me a lot. But he's got a nice clean face. He's got nice feet. Turn around, let me see. And he greets me, and he likes sleeping on the porch sometimes when I'm sitting there. Um, he's got the squirrel tail. He's the only one of my Saramas right now. Um, beautiful comb and waddle. Beautiful colors. I wanted him to be black and white, but he's the spangle color. And if I had a different home, I would keep him for sure. Because he lets me know when there's birds flying above. He screams. He crows. He's my loudest rooster. And uh, he's very special to me. So he is for sale as well. I can't let him out right now because he wants to go beat up one of the ones I just hugged. He's very jealous of me hugging another rooster or giving a rooster a kiss. He'll actually fight him. And when I don't do that, he won't fight any of the roosters. So, <laughs> all right. Hey guys, it's February 27, 2013, and now I'm doing the Sarama hens. These guys were born, all of them, on September 19, 2012. This is one of the hens I want to get out of the cage. She actually um, is a gorgeous female. 
very tall black tail. Um, they've been trying to mate with her, so they've been pulling a little of her feathers around her neck, but that comes in very black. I named her Jenny. She reminds me of a f friend of mine, so she's a very pretty pullet. She's also for sale, and um, I'm going to go ahead and start showing you guys the rest of the pullets. And um, like I said, if uh, you see a bubble on top that says for sale, then um, it's available. If it says pending, um, I'm either thinking about it or there is a reason someone might be interested or making a half payment. And if I put the word sold, it means that they're sold. So I just want to share that with you guys. And this is a female that uh, is a Sarama. And they're very sweet. She's got yellow feet. Let me change the zoom. And she wants to get out. All right, so let's do this little Sarama here. She is one of my favorites. When she was much... Whoa. Okay. I might have to redo this video. <laughs> okay, so this is one of my favorite females. Um, when she was much younger, she was absolutely my favorite. But she ended up getting a lot more white than I wanted. Um, so I'm not sure exactly how she'll finish out. But, like I said, all of my Saramas were born on the 19th of September in 2012. She's got yellow feet and a nice clean face. Very pretty. And her tail is coming in very nicely. Okay, so this Sarama here, she is kind of like a twin. I have two of these. And one is a tiny bit shorter than the other. I believe it's the other one. This one's a little bit more on the darker blonde side, and the other one is on the light blonde side. But they're kind of identical in a way. The face on this one, I believe, is not as bare as the other one. Meaning, like, um, the face here is very nice. She's got fur on it. Not fur, but just regular feathering. While the other one is a little bit more bare. Yellow feet. They're digging in the dirt right now, and it's winter time. Nice tails that are growing in. Now these guys are still growing their tails. They're all um, five months old as of the twin or the nineteenth. She's very calm. She's not as nervous. Let's see what her sister's like. I'm going to do another Sarama in between the buffs or in between these blondes so you guys don't get confused. Very pretty girl. Calm. Okay, so this female here, she looks just like her grandmother. Uh, beautiful. She has the same chest. I really like her as well. She's also got yellow feet. Nice clean face. Her tail's very pretty, and they're still growing their tails out. But um, I do like her. And I think she's a little bit short, meaning in the legs. Um, but... She's very pretty. She came out kind of like her grandmother. She wants to come out. <laughs> Look at these beautiful feathers. Absolutely gorgeous. My Saramas are making noise because a lot of the crows are coming by bothering us. Gorgeous little girl. Okay, so this female is a little bit more movie. I mean, she moves more. And her face is more of the bear. She, ha she has more red on her face. The waddle comb. And she's lighter. Her tail's growing in. Yellow feet. More of the blondes. She was just running around the yard. She was so excited. All right. Okay, so I wanted to put this one in right after that blondie looking one that you just saw. So you can kind of see the difference in the buff coloring. 
This one's more of the traditional darker buff, while the other one's more like a blonde. And I have two of these. Um, the other one has already sold and got a home, and they were like twin sisters, identical. I couldn't even tell them apart at all. I really like this one myself. Um, she may be one that I might keep because she does follow me and fly to my head, and her tail's still growing as well. So we'll see what happens. I'll put a bubble up on if she's available or not. And um, she's got yellow feet, nice clean face, nice tail, very pretty. I was going to keep the two sisters, but um, I kept, if I had to keep one, I kept this one. And the other one had a little bit more blonde. As you can see on the tail, see how it's all black, but the two top ones are lighter. The other one had more of the blonde on it, so I wanted to keep this one that's more solid black in the tail. All right.